Stories at the top of our news is Tropical Storm Noel hammering Miami this morning with strong winds and it's moving now toward the Bahamas where a hurricane watch is in effect. The storm is expected to hit there later on today, but it's already hit the Dominican Republic and a state of emergency has been called there. Noel swept through the area and has killed at least 81 people. The storm triggered mudslides and floods. Rescuers are struggling to reach people in communities cut off by the storm. At least 58,000 people have been forced from their homes. The president of the Dominican Republic has declared a state of emergency and is calling for international help. Noel is the deadliest storm in this part of the Caribbean since Tropical Storm Jeanne hit Haiti three years ago. Now we want to get the very latest from the Dominican Republic. Joining me by telephone from Santo Domingo is Juliana Pierosi, who's helping coordinate relief efforts for World Vision. Juliana, good morning. Good morning, Heather. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for giving us some time. I'm sure it's awfully busy there. I know, first of all, that you have been dealing with days of rain. What is, I guess, the weather condition right now where you are? That is correct. Right now it's not raining, but it has rained very strongly nonstop from Saturday night to Monday evening. And then since then, rained on and off um, for two days. Of course, that's, uh, you know, very bad news for the vulnerable, vulnerable communities where World Vision works with. We are also expecting 48 hours of, of rain. The next 48 hours um, will rain again. Oh, still more to come. Give me a sense, Juliana, of just how much damage, the types of damage that you're seeing that's been caused by all that rain. Of course. There, well, f spots are flooding throughout the country. Uh, hero communities have lost uh, their crops. The government here reports about 23 million loss in agriculture. So, of course, World Vision starts to ask questions like, you know, how are these people going to survive since they lost their source of income? Uh, uh, do they have enough to eat for the next few months? Um, lots of damage. Sorry. Lots no, of damage. Go ahead, Juliana. Sorry about that. Lots of damage to infrastructure, like bridges and uh, highways and schools. So, um, you know, a very great around. picture here. What about, uh, what about power on the island? Do you have that? Well, uh, we're still having power outages and phone lines that have fallen due to the, some strong wind that we had from Saturday night to, to Monday evening. So we have communities at this point uh, about... 41 communities who we cannot contact or communicate. We can arrive by land because of floodings or destruction to infrastructure. We can call them because the phone is not working. And they also don't have energy. For example, some of our teams are in some of these communities, but because they have no energy, they cannot recharge their cell phones. So they are uh, out of communication, total communication. They're really cut off in those communities. And, and I mentioned in the introduction to our discussion that there are tens of thousands of people who had to be evacuated. Are you seeing them on the move? Where are they going? Well, some of this, uh, these families have went to leave uh, for a couple of days or stay for a couple of days with families. Uh, some of them went to shelters uh, in schools. Uh, where World Vision has been providing some supplies for these shelters and for these families. Our priority at this point is to respond to the immediate need of people. Uh, so we have been distributing mattresses, food, water, hygiene kits, blankets, and uh, also have sent uh, medical assistance to some communities. Are there any indications of uh, medical crises or disease or anything like that that you're concerned about? Well, we already have some reports of children who have uh, respiratory diseases, so we were worried about them. Of course, children are the focus of World Vision's work, so we send doctors to, to assess the situation and to help those, those children. So give me a sense, Juliana, of what you're going to be doing today. Help me understand when you're coordinating this. What do you do today? Well, we continue to distribute um, supplies and donations. Uh, we are very focused and working very closely with the civil defense, again, to reach these communities there. They are cut off. Uh, we are very worried about the situation uh, uh, on those communities right now. So we'll continue to do that and to assess damages. Uh, as you can imagine, until it stops raining, we cannot have a final, final numbers in terms of damages and people that were affected, evacuated, or dead. And, and things like that. We'll be keeping track and wishing you the best. Thank you, Juliana.
Thank you. Juliana Pierosi, a Brazilian-Canadian working to coordinate some of the relief efforts in the Dominican Republic.